Good evening and welcome to the daily market update. The DACX returned to the red zone today as it fell by 3.79 points or 0.06% today and settled at 6,308 points. Market turnover was BDT 5.77 billion which is a decrease of 5.50% compared to the previous trading day. Square Pharmaceuticals, Orion Infusion and Acme Laboratories from the pharmaceutical sector, Aleph Industries, Generation Next Fashion and Simtex Industries from the textile sector, Adian Telecom, Information Technology Consultants and Genex Infosys from the IT sector mainly dragged the market down today. In terms of sector-wise return, the insurance sector posted the highest gain of 0.35%, while the cement sector registered the second highest gain of 0.11%. On the other hand, the IT sector posted the highest loss of 0.83% today. Four textile companies and three pharmaceutical companies were among the top 20 losers today. Miracle Industries, Stern Insurance and Yakin Polymer registered the highest gain, while Simtex Industries, Central Pharmaceuticals and Generation Next Fashions were the top losers today. There is no publicly disclosed price-sensitive information for the price change of these stocks. The trading volume of National Bank, Stern Insurance and IFIL Islamic Mutual in increased significantly today compared to the average trading volume of the last three months. There is no publicly disclosed fundamental reason for the volume increase for the above mentioned stocks. Today's top two news. The country's remittance inflow dropped by 21.47% to USD 1.59 billion in August compared to the same month of the previous year. The amount is even less than the previous month. The huge exchange rate gap between the formal and informal channels is the main reason behind the fall as a large portion of the inward remittance is believed to be sent through the illegal channels. However, the government is trying hard to increase remittance inflow through legal channels and curb the inflow through illegal channels. The National Board of Revenue is going to launch an automated system for passengers to declare their belongings and currencies to customs. The Revenue Board is going to integrate its software with Shonali Bank's e-wallet for paying taxes and duties. This system would save the passengers time during the customs process as they will be able to declare their belongings before their arrival or departure. Moreover, it would reduce the customs harassment claimed by the passengers. However, it is expected to benefit both the passengers and the government as revenue from the customs wing might rise by this. That's all for today. We will be back again tomorrow with more updates on Dhaka Stock Exchange. Follow Alert Global on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.